One super sock plus 11 pounds is 53 pounds. Peanut Equations. What you do on one side, you have to do on the other. If I take away some minifigures here, I have to subtract the same amount on the other side as well. If I'm going to keep balance, if I add a minifigure to one side, I have to add a minifigure onto the other side too. 3B equals banana. No, not banana, four. Get out of here, banana. 3B equals four. Now, we're gonna divide both sides by three. What we do on one side, we have to do on the other. It's about balance. So let's divide both sides by three. Why are we dividing both sides by three? Because any number divided by itself is just, oh no, that's one. So we just have B equals four divided by three, or four thirds. So, 12x equals banana. No, not banana. 12x does not equal banana. We'll say 12x equals 36. Where did that banana come from? 12 times some number is equal to 36. Well, what could that number possibly be? Hmm, it's a one-step equation. All we gotta do is divide both sides by 12, and then, bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. We'll be in business. Let's divide both sides by, all right, come on, too many mechs. We're gonna divide both sides by 12. Why? Because any number divided by itself is just, oh no. So, 12 divided by 12 is one. That means x is equal to 26 divided by 12. Excuse me, 36 divided by 12. But how many times does 12 go into 36? Three times. So x is simply three. It's not a banana, it's just three. Ain't so bad, right? What you add on one side, you must add on the other. Same for subtraction, multiplication, or division. Q divided by 15 is equal to, ah, oh, there's that banana again. Get out of here, banana. It's equal to four. Well, what are we gonna do to get Q by itself? What you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So we're gonna multiply both sides by good old 15. Now, why would we do that? We're multiplying both sides by 15. 15 times 1 15th, or you can think of it as 15 divided by 15. That's a good old whopping one, not a banana. So Q is equal to four times 15. Well, what's 15 fours? It ain't a banana, that's the good news. In fact, it's a whole 60. That's what happens when you have 60. Excuse me, that's what happens when you have four 15s. Q is equal to 60. Keep those scales balanced. Don't subscribe, but join the Greater Gators class if you want to join a community of problem solvers because we're building one. See you next time. God bless. Okay, divided by six is equal to one. So we're gonna have to multiply both sides by six to get rid of that sixth that's just laying around there. Why do we do that? Because six divided by six is gonna give us uno. Remember what you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So, the good news is one times six. You know that one, one six, that's just good old six. And six divided by six, that's just one. So this is one of the easiest one step equations we could be possibly working with. K is just equal to six. In fact, if you go back and look, it is the only number that when divided by itself gives you, oh no, one. One point five J is equal to, Banana? No, not banana. Ultimate banana. It's equal to three. So if you're in the bonus section, get out of here, banana.